Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Shalom, Mr. Allah. Peace, Israel. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Mills on the teaching real well. And peace, love, and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Honor Brother Yakov, Prophets in Babylon, Sarasota, which is a branch of the Prophets in Babylon Temple Church. Shout out to those brothers. And today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash, I'm back with Lord Willing and Edifying. Let's defeat the sheep. Who believe on those names in truth and in sincerity shalom to your families in today's lesson i have a, a lesson slash prayer and washawan kwadash the holy tongue the ancient paleo hebrew a prayer you know going into yahweh shema shai keeping us and delivering us from the hour of temptation man you know so i'm gonna bring it back again revelation 3 and verse 10 this is because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also would keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And the hour of temptation is, you know, is speedily approaching, man. Okay, the time period where, you know, you're going to be tried. Okay, your faith is going to be tried. Okay, for not receiving the mark of the B-E-A-S-T. All right, which we know is the RFID micro C-H-I-P, man. The micro C hip. All right. So that's the time of testing that we're answering again. So you already have the WEF saying that if you don't receive the mark, all right, if you don't receive the um the C B D C under your skin, you will not be able to participate in society. So what does that mean? They're gonna cut you off from society, you're gonna be off the grid. And what they really meant to say is a hey, some of us will be even put to death. You know, pursuant to uh Revelation two and verse ten. I'm gonna bring it out right quick. It says, uh, for none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's right. So that's the time that we're entering into, brothers. But, you know, the balance is not all of us are going to taste of death. Okay? And ultimately, even if we have to suffer death, we want the Heavenly Father to deliver us from that temptation. And here, here's a prayer, um, you know, typed up. And the uh, Abarat's eyes edifying is useful to you sincere brothers and sisters out there that believe in Yahweh by Shema, Hashai, truth and sincerity. It says, Hawashai Nawa, which is deliver us. Hawashai is deliver. Nawa means us. Matter of fact, I can start by saying Baba Kusha. All right. Because, you know, you always want to You know, beg the Lord when you pray because to pray means to beg. So, start off with Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, which means please, Hawashai Nawa, deliver us. Mayun, which is from, Ha, which is the, Shaha, which is our, Shaw, which is of, Nasa Yawan, which is temptation. Baba Kosha, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So please deliver us from the hour of temptation. Please, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, because we're, we're, we're begging the Lord to keep us from this time. Because, you know, he's going to he's gonna cause a way, you know, for us to escape, you know. This is a... Uh, Even the Lord's Prayer, it says, um, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You know, so we want the Heavenly Father to deliver us from temptation. I believe it's, it says, uh, make way to escape. I'm looking for. I'm trying to find it. Trying to find it, man. Uh, it says, will with the temptation that you know make a way to escape. 
Um, it's a precept that says, uh, the Heavenly Father, you know, y'all watch your mouth. Here we go. Here we go. Right here. The water. First Corinthians 10 and 13. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. So this, this temptation has come to the earth. All men are going to be tried by it. It says, but Yahweh Bashim Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So the Lord is going to make a way for us to escape this hour of temptation. How is he going to do that? He's going to take care of us. He's going to feed us. He's going to um, protect us. You know, he's going to make a way for us to escape that temptation. He's going to give us comfort. Even if we have to put our head in the guillotine, the Lord's going to put a spirit of comfort upon us that we may be able to go through with being put to death for the faith. All right. So I'm going to read it again. First Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So Yahweh Bashima is going to make us uh, escape that hour of temptation. He says he's going to keep us from it because we kept the word of his patience. We suffered patiently. We waited for him. So he said, you know, for that, I'm going to keep you from this time. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to deliver you from the hour of temptation. And we also have to pray. The Lord said, watch as well as pray that what? Let's grab it right quick. Grab it right quick. This is uh, Matthew 26 and 41. It says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So the spirit is willing. The, the, the spirit is willing to escape the temptation, but the flesh is weak. The flesh is going to get, give in to it. That's why we have to continually build a spirit. So when that day comes, we're going to be able to withstand that temptation, which ultimately the elect is going to withstand. So, you know, as the Lord said, watch as well as pray. And that's why we come in, you know, with this Hebrew prayer right here. And we're going to read it again. And that's going to be it. It says, Baba Kosha, please, Yahweh Shai Nawa, Salakia. I said it, Yahweh Shai Nawa. Baba Kosha, which is please, Hawa Shai Nawa, which deliver us. Mayun from Ha, the Sha'aha, our Shaw of Nasiah One temptation. Baba Kosha, please. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and the reason it's worded like this is because, you know, you read the Hebrew from right to left. Obviously, I can't do it on notes, but I try to do it to the best of my ability. So, reading it again. Baba Kosha, Yahweh, Baba Kosha, Yahweh Shai, Nawa, Mayan Ha, Sha'a Ha, Sha, Nasaya One, Baba Kosha, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Please deliver us from the hour of temptation. Please, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So, this is a prayer, you know, for you brothers and sisters out there. In a time of trouble, we're going to send this prayer up and, you know, ultimately the Lord going to hear us, man. The Lord said the poor man cried and the Lord delivered him out of all his trouble. So the Lord going to deliver us, you know, from this time of trouble, man. So this is a quick lesson through the Spirit of Yahweh I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Ha'akadash. Devil honor to the apostles and the elders of great Muslims, teach them real well. And peace, love, and blessing the elect and of Israel. Don't worry about buying and selling in that day. You know, the Heavenly Father going to take care of us. He's going to feed us, man. He, we ain't going to have to take a, a CHIP to eat. We ain't going to have to take a CHIP to, you know, buy water. We ain't going to have to do that. The Lord going to take care of everything for us, man. And he's going to keep us from that time. And even if we have to suffer death for not taking it, hey, guess what? The Heavenly Father going to put a spirit of comfort on us to go through with it. And that we can be brought back to him. So, I'm going to edifying again to the next time I say Shalom.